We get a lot of requests for cooking artichoke, and I'm just gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna squeeze it in here, and we're gonna do this guy as well. The only reason I cut this off is because it wouldn't fit otherwise. This is probably, to me, the best part of the artichoke. I'll put some water to help steam it. We're gonna cook this for 10 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm gonna make the sauce. And this sauce would be good with anything, but it goes particularly well with artichokes or any vegetable, whether it's carrots, cucumbers, it's a great dipping sauce. This is uh, almonds that I've already been trying to mash up. And the irony of using probably one of the most prehistoric culinary tools and this thing behind me is not lost on me, but it's important to use the best tools. And I'm gonna mash this up as best I can. I'm gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna add some of the oil from the anchovies. I'm gonna add a little fish sauce as well. This is sort of like a bagna cauda, which traditionally was made with walnuts. But this is something that I make a lot. It's very aromatic. Think of it a little bit like a Caesar dressing. It's one of my favorite, favorite sauces. It smells fuerte. <laughs> People might be like, oh, I don't like fish sauce, but I'll eat anchovies in a Caesar dressing. That is basically the same thing. This is just the distillation of this. And I will add lemon juice, add a fair bit of butter. Cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna cook this till I sort of get brown butter, which is the milk solids and the butter caramelizing. <laughs> Smells like brown butter. And I'm just gonna stir it up. I cook this for maybe 10 minutes. That is extremely delicious. And you wanna serve this sauce hot. There it is, cooked artichokes with beautiful Bogdan Kauda dipping sauce. I know I just cooked it in the microwave, and I know it sounds asinine that I just cooked it, but I'm still like, wow, I just cooked this all in the microwave.